Okay, so last night I was downstairs trying to read a book while the kids had their designated screen time and just enjoy some quiet when I hear something. I will play it for you. I hear the sound and it sounds like it's coming out of my kitchen ceiling. So I climb on the countertop, put my ear up to the door, up to the ceiling and I hear it. I tap against it and it stops. And so then I tap again and it gets louder. And I'm like, there is definitely something in my attic. I'm sitting here thinking, what could it possibly be? Well, we've had a little bit of a squirrel infestation in our attic. And so we hired this man and we paid him $250 to come and put this exit only door on our roof so the squirrels can leave, but they can't get back in. Now I'm hearing the sound and I'm thinking, it's baby squirrels. It's gotta be baby squirrels. I mean, we just evicted squirrels out of our attic and now it's something up there squeaking like this and it's baby squirrels calling for their mama because the mama can't get back in there. They're starving. And I think, oh, well, I'm an animal lover. I'm gonna go rescue these baby squirrels. And I tell y'all, by the time I get upstairs and get to the attic, I have not convinced myself that we got a nest of baby squirrels. I'm gonna go in there and rescue them. And if I have to, I'm gonna call my friend Gina, who's a wildlife rehabilitator, and get some squirrel milk. And we're gonna feed these baby squirrels and we're gonna release them into their backyard. And they're gonna be so like thankful that they are gonna come and like eat peanuts out of our hands. It's gonna be like the best of having a pet that you don't actually have to care for, but it's there when you wanna see it. And so, I go in there and I am determined that I'm going to rescue these babies. Well, I go in there and as soon as I open the attic door, the sound stops. And I thought, well, where are you, baby squirrel? Where are you? And I don't hear anything. So I go, and would you believe I hear it again? And it's like, these babies are calling to me to come and rescue them. Now, the problem is the sound was coming all the way in the corner of the roof or in the attic. And so... I don't know about your attic, but my attic does not have floors in there. They have these little floor joys, which is like basically a piece of wood that's about two inches wide and spread, I don't know, about shoulder width apart, maybe 18 inches. And it's got a little bit of plywood that is the ceiling of the room down below it and insulation. And so I'm thinking, okay, you're playing a little hard to get, but that's all right. I'm going to rescue you because I just love animals and I love squirrels are so cute. And so I scramble across the floor and it's a little bit of a tight spot because I'll just be honest with you, the roof is sloping. So I got about two feet of space here and I'm, I'm balancing myself precariously over these floor joists. I can't lift my head too high because there's like these giant nails coming out. That's what apparently holds the shingles on the roof of our house. And I'm like, babies, it's okay. And I start pulling up the insulation and it starts chattering louder. And I'm like, it's okay, baby squirrels, here I come. And then I hear it like shifting away. I'm like, don't go, don't go. I'm, I'm, I'm here to rescue you. And here I am balancing precariously, trying not to fall through the, the ceiling of my kitchen because that would be awful because we've already replaced that ceiling like twice since we've had this house not to mention like a broken neck or something. And you know, I don't want to like damage my brain by like impaling it on this giant nail. And that precisely is when I found out and discovered that it was not in fact baby squirrels that I was going in there to rescue. Turns out it was a bat. And that chittering had been warning me to stay away from him. And that bat flew out at me like a pterodactyl. And I have never seen anything like this. And, and now, in this, when this is happening, I have a couple things going through my head. In, in hindsight, I know that, that bats are misunderstood mammals, that they are vital to our ecosystem. They are great pollinators, and they can eat like a thousand bugs an hour. But during that moment, I had two things in my brain about bats. Number one, it's a vector species, meaning they carry rabies. And y'all, if you get bit by a rat, a bat with rabies and you don't get it treated, you will die of rabies. Number two, people in China eat bats. And apparently you get a virus called the coronavirus or like the bat flu. And let me tell you, you can die from that too. So my adrenaline is coursing through my veins. The fight or flight instinct is kicking in. I'm wanting a bat of the baseball variety to take out this flying terror. And I found out something about myself. I am more swift and limber than I give this 40 year old woman credit for because I move like lightning scrambling across those floor joists. 